Now it's time for the moment of truth. Okay. Um, all right. Let's. Scratch. Never mind. Okay. So what I'm planning to do next is to move the power center, which is that brown thing over there. It's pretty much what houses all the electricals in this RV. It also charges the batteries whenever you have it plugged into an outlet. So there are three components to the power center. There's the AC connections, that's like alternated current for the outlets and anything that kind of takes more power than, than you would need on like the 12 volt batteries. And then you go into the DC section and that's where the direct current from the batteries give power to things like the lights, the fans, pretty much things that don't really require too much energy. And at the bottom, which is the biggest thing of the power center, you have the converter. That allows you to charge your batteries whenever you plug in your RV into an outlet. So my plan is to move that thing into here. And I checked the dimensions, it looks like it'll fit, but it's gonna be a tight fit. So it'll be pretty interesting. I'm going to try to take this out. Um, first, I'm gonna number these to make sure everything is gonna be put back in its place, as well as this, once I take these out. I just wanna show you a little more. There's a good amount of wiring back there. And then I go over here. There's some wiring down here. This actually makes it easier because I don't wanna move it over here where this thing is at and there's an opening so I can slide it through. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm here looking at the wiring for the power converter. I moved the wires from here, drilled a hole there, and now they're out of here. So it, it can fit pretty nicely like this. I'm not very um, pleased with it aesthetically, but in terms of functionality, that pretty much will work. I might maybe bring it up a little bit closer. Maybe like that. And that way it'll fit And then just snug. chop off this thing that's blocking it. And that way it'll fit pretty snug. So, we shall see. I want to give you an update about what I'm dealing with right now. I took out the power center, the power converter, and all the electricals. And I noticed that there was a lot of rust everywhere. So there was a ton here at the top. There was, you know, there's all this here, all the back side, and there's actually some on the inside too that you can't really see. And then if you go into this part, there's some right here all on the side. You have some in the back. So all here in the bottom. So I started to take everything apart and I started to clean it. And, you know, it came out pretty well. It looks clean. Um, but halfway through cleaning, I started thinking, man, this shit's old. <laughs> Think about it. This is like 30, over 30 years old. You're talking 1989. I mean, cell phones weren't invented yet. You still had like dial up maybe? It was dial up invented? I don't know. So I was, you know, grinding away and I had a strong feeling that there's probably something out there that's better. And I did some research and I actually found something that's smaller, lighter more efficient at like charging your batteries. So 
I uh, went ahead and ordered it. So now, I guess you just have to wait till it comes in. Okay, the time has come. We now have the PD4135. This is a pretty hefty upgrade. Size wise, this thing is like half the size of it. Weight wise, I think it's like a quarter of the weight. The old one is, is has, you know, metal enclosure, metal everything. And then this one is made out of plastic. So, I mean, you're talking about less than five pounds versus the old one, maybe about 20 pounds. The main reason why I like this one is going to be because of how thin it is. So this one right here is only sticking out about four inches, which I think is going to be enough to make it fit inside an even smaller space in the seat. One of the things that I like about this new power center is that it can charge lithium batteries. If I want to upgrade in the future, it's going to be a lot easier to do that with this thing. Okay, I want to give you guys an idea of how I'm wearing the PD4135. So behind the, the uh, power center, there are these wires right here, and they're all in order. So the first one is the battery hot, and the last one, the white one, is the negative. And then all of these are gonna be uh, to power all the lights and everything. And then, so that's gonna be that side. And now we're gonna go into this side. And then the first one for here is gonna be the power from the generator, so the, the 30. And then all these other ones are gonna be additional branch circuits. Here's where the white wires go. Here where the ground wires go. This little hole, I'm gonna add a ground wire to pretty much ground this whole bar. And then the black wires, they all go up here. I finally installed the PD4135. It was a bitch, <laughs> but I didn't shock myself. Uh, so I can give myself that. Let me show you a little bit of what I did. 
So wiring everything back was pretty easy. The thing that was hard was just trying to make everything fit. It's such a tight space. But because I numbered everything before I put everything back, it was a lot easier to put everything back in. I did add some new breakers. There's a 30 and 20 tandem now instead of a 30 single and a, and a 20 single. So number four moved over here and then everything just got shifted over. I added a separate breaker connection for the converter before it was combined with one of the outlets. So now it has its own breaker. I did add a another outlet here. This one is connected to this bad boy right here. It can charge, you know, your laptops, your phones, whenever you're using this. So if you look in here, you'll see all of my connections. It's a mess. I know it's really hard to work in this little tiny spot. So you have the first one here that is the ground to the RV and then that gives ground to everything else. So all of these are these breakers up here just grounded. The last one right here is the converter. And then see there's a white that connects to the neutrals over here. The first one is the 30 amp. The second one is the 20 amp for the AC. And all the other ones are for the outlets. And then right here all the black ones are just connected to each breaker. Now let's get into the DC section. One thing you notice about here is that there's two red wires and then the other ones are black. So the first red wire and then this white wire are for the battery. So it's positive and the negative. And then the second red wire is to connect another battery. So in case you, you I guess, want to charge something else. But this one for me is not connected. All the other connections were connected in order right here. So it's actually two lights and then you have the furnace and then the, the sensors. This one is blank. So whenever I was installing this, there were a few bumps in the road. The first one was that one of the wires here did not reach the power center. So that's why this electrical box is here. It helps uh, extend the wire into here. And since this was here anyways, I decided to add that outlet. The second one was this 12 volt line. It also didn't reach. So I ended up extending it. And then this is a waterproof wire nut, so it should be good next to this tank. And then the last one is this one. This also didn't reach. So I ended up adding another wire and extending it. I'm going to add an electrical box later on. But my next move is to break this down and then move it further back. And that should allow this to be connected somewhere like here-ish. All right, we are done. Oh. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Boom.